for local for a local woman, back pain that just wouldn't go away turned into a scary diagnosis of pancreatic cancer. Now, nine years later, she's beat the odds and is cancer free. Mm -hmm. Her doctors at UofL Health Brown Cancer Center say it's all thanks to a clinical trial. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. Mary Combs just turned 73 and she's celebrating with a visit to the Brown Cancer Center for a checkup. But okay. we're definitely in remission. Okay. Whether okay. you're cured. Remission. It's a word she's been waiting to hear for nine years. They knew something was wrong. They just couldn't pinpoint it. Combs says it all started with back pain. It turned out to be pancreatic cancer that had spread to her liver. It was scary. It was, uh, even though, even though you know in the back of your mind, you know that that's what it is. Uh, it just it's just shocking. It was a shock because Combs says there is no history of cancer in her family and statistics related to pancreatic cancer are not good. Her doctor says it's one of the most lethal cancers. Oftentimes, in fact, the vast majority of pancreatic cancer patients are detected when the disease is already incurable and inoperable. Combs treatment included surgery, radiation and chemotherapy, and then her doctor recommended a clinical trial. This combination of these two pills had something in her disease biology that was just right, which kind of gives us the proof of principle that if you find the right target, you know, even a, a cancer that is so difficult can actually be be treated very well. And, and Ms. Combs is sort of an example of that. Nine years later, and the clinical trial is considered a success. Combs is cancer free. Dr. Sharma says it shows the importance of clinical trials. And the only way better treatments are going to come is you're going to have to develop them. And when, when you develop them, you're going to have to, to test them in, in a population of patients. So, so that's what clinical trials do is they provide us that avenue of testing new and innovative therapies. And Combs still takes chemo pills every day, but her doctor says she may eventually be able to stop taking those altogether. Good for Mary.